construction projects don't come much bigger than this. HS2, short for High Speed 2, is an ambitious and transformative high-speed railway project being built right through the heart of Britain. It aims to revolutionize transportation in the country by connecting major cities, improving connectivity, and stimulating economic growth. However, the project has faced numerous challenges, prompting intense debate and scrutiny. From its inception, HS2 has encountered significant challenges and staunch opposition. One of the primary issues has been budget overruns and delays. The initial estimated cost of the project was £32.7 billion, but it quickly rose to £42.6 billion within just one year. Subsequent estimates soared even higher, reaching £106 billion, making it the most expensive high-speed railway in the world. These escalating costs have fueled public concern and criticism of the project. Environmental concerns have also played a significant role in the opposition to HS2. The construction of the railway has led to the destruction of ancient woodlands, displacement of wildlife habitats, and disruption to natural ecosystems. Environmental activists argue that the project's environmental impact far outweighs its potential benefits, undermining its sustainability credentials. HS2 is undeniably one of the world's largest and most ambitious infrastructure projects. It spans a vast distance, starting in London and running through the English countryside to the Midlands and beyond. The trains on HS2 are designed to reach speeds of up to 225 miles per hour, making them the fastest in Europe. The aim is to drastically reduce travel times and increase capacity on the existing railway network. Building HS2 involves an array of immense engineering feats. To ensure the trains can reach their maximum speeds, the track must be as straight and flat as possible. This requires the construction of tunnels, viaducts, and cuttings to navigate through challenging terrain. Tunnel boring machines, weighing up to 2,000 tons, are used to dig tunnels deep beneath the countryside. These machines feature cutting heads that excavate soil, while pipes transport it to the surface. The construction of HS2 has presented a range of technical and logistical challenges. In urban areas like London, existing buildings, neighboring properties, and live railway lines have posed obstacles that need to be overcome. In rural areas, preserving the natural environment, including ancient woodlands and wildlife habitats, has been a key consideration. The engineering teams have had to navigate these challenges while striving to minimize disruption and ensure the project's success. HS2 aims to deliver numerous benefits to the UK. One of the primary advantages is the significant reduction in travel times. For example, the journey from London to Birmingham, which currently takes around 1 hour and 22 minutes, will be reduced to just 45 minutes with HS2. This time saving will make rail travel a more attractive option, potentially leading to a modal shift from road and air transportation. Capacity is another critical aspect of HS2. The existing rail network in the UK, particularly the West Coast Main Line, is heavily congested. By creating a dedicated high-speed railway solely for passenger trains, HS2 will free up much-needed capacity on existing lines. This will not only improve reliability and efficiency but also allow for increased frequency of services and accommodate future growth in passenger demand. The UK has long grappled with a north-south divide, characterized by economic disparities and uneven distribution of infrastructure investments. London has historically received more significant attention and resources, leading to imbalances in economic development between the capital and other regions. HS2 was initially conceived as a means to address this divide by enhancing connectivity and promoting economic growth in the north of England. While HS2 has the potential to stimulate economic activity in the north, it is essential to recognize that it is not a panacea for all regional disparities. Some critics argue that a broader approach is required, including investments in local infrastructure, digital connectivity, and regional development projects. They question whether HS2 alone can adequately address the underlying issues and rebalance economic opportunities across the country. The decision to proceed with HS2 was made by the elected UK government. In 2017, parliamentary approval was obtained, granting the government special powers to build, operate, and maintain phase one of HS2. However, concerns have been raised about the decision-making process, particularly regarding transparency and public consultation. Some argue that more extensive public engagement and involvement could have led to a better understanding of the project's impacts and potentially influence the final decision. The cost of HS2 has been a subject of significant controversy and public concern. 
the project's budget has consistently exceeded initial estimates, resulting in skepticism about its financial feasibility. The original estimate of £32.7 billion quickly ballooned to £106 billion. The project's escalating costs have raised questions about value for money and the ability to stay within the allocated budget. In addition to budgetary concerns, HS2 has also faced delays. The original completion dates have been pushed back, with Phase 1 now expected to finish no earlier than 2029. These delays have prompted criticism and further eroded public confidence in the project's management and delivery. Environmental considerations have been at the forefront of opposition to HS2. The project has faced significant backlash from environmental activists, local communities, and wildlife conservation groups. One of the primary concerns has been the destruction of ancient woodlands and the potential loss of biodiversity. The felling of trees and disruption of ecosystems have prompted protests and legal challenges, further delaying construction and increasing costs. Efforts have been made to mitigate the environmental impact of HS2. For instance, measures such as creating new woodlands, implementing wildlife corridors, and minimizing noise and air pollution are being implemented. However, critics argue that these measures are insufficient to offset the damage caused by the project and call for a re-evaluation of the overall environmental impact. Changes to the HS2 route have had implications for the original vision of improved north-south connectivity. The planned connection to Leeds, known as Phase 2B, has faced delays and modifications. The eastern leg, connecting Birmingham to Leeds, has been scaled back, raising concerns about its effectiveness in addressing regional disparities. The future of the northern powerhouse rail, which aims to provide east-west connectivity across the north of England, remains uncertain. These developments have disappointed those in the north who were anticipating significant benefits from the project and further deepened the north-south divide. Despite the challenges and controversies surrounding HS2, proponents argue that the project holds significant potential for economic growth and improved connectivity. By connecting major cities and population centers, HS2 aims to provide businesses with access to larger markets, supply chains, and a wider talent pool. It is anticipated that this enhanced connectivity will lead to increased productivity, foster trade integration, and provide alternative transportation options for commuting. The economic benefits of HS2 extend beyond individual regions. The project is expected to stimulate growth and job creation across the country. For example, the construction phase alone is estimated to create tens of thousands of jobs, providing employment opportunities and economic stimulus to various sectors. Additionally, the increased capacity and faster travel times can attract businesses to locate in areas previously constrained by limited transport links. It is essential to consider alternative perspectives when evaluating HS2. While some argue that the project is vital for economic growth and long-term benefits, others question its viability and prioritization. Some suggest that investment in sustainable infrastructure, digital connectivity, and regional development should take precedence over a single high-speed railway line. There are concerns that HS2 may disproportionately benefit certain regions and sectors while diverting resources from other critical areas of investment. Public opinion regarding HS2 is diverse and multifaceted. Supporters of the project highlight the potential economic benefits, improved connectivity, and reduced travel times. They argue that HS2 represents a necessary step toward modernizing Britain's transport infrastructure and meeting future demand. However, opponents of HS2 raise valid concerns about escalating costs, environmental impact, and the project's ability to address regional disparities effectively. The decision to proceed with HS2 ultimately reflects the choices made by elected representatives. Nevertheless, it is vital to consider the broader implications and potential trade-offs involved. In conclusion, HS2 is an enormous and highly controversial project that exemplifies the challenges and trade-offs associated with large-scale infrastructure development. The project's escalating costs, delays, and environmental impacts have raised significant questions about its value, feasibility, and alignment with long-term sustainability goals. While HS2 has the potential to deliver economic growth, improved connectivity, and increased capacity, it is crucial to evaluate and reassess projects of this magnitude to ensure they align with societal needs, priorities, and long-term sustainability. Thank you for watching. We encourage you to share your thoughts and opinions on HS2 in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe for more in-depth content on infrastructure and transportation projects.